going? Hope you're having a shit one. Did you know that this 35 f1.4 has been one of Sigma's best-selling lenses for almost nine years? Or well, nine years almost coming into 10 years? I can't remember. I'm not very good at stats or numbers. But what I do know is this lens has had its time. Actually, you know what? I think they're still going to be selling them but essentially it's going to be replaced with this lens, the new 35 F1.4 from Sigma. Now, they look pretty much the same. I love the 35 mil. It was one of my first prime lenses. Actually, I think it was the first prime lens I'd ever bought. And I was really skeptical at first because I didn't know if it was gonna be the right lens. And I'm sure some of you could imagine buying a lens for the first time or buying the right prime lens or just spending a lot of money on a lens that is only one millimeter length can be a bit daunting. So at first I was like, oh, you know, it's gonna be good for car photography. It was either gonna be this or the 85 mil. I ended up going with this and I'm really happy that I did because this has been one of my favorite lenses to shoot with and what I would probably recommend if you are looking to get your first prime lens would be a 35 mil F1.4 from Sigma. For price and sharpness, I don't really think you can beat this lens. So obviously tonight we're gonna go out and take some photos with the new and improved F30, F35, oh my God, far out. Oh yeah, and also, if you wanna win this 35 F1, not, not this particular lens, this is an old lens, this is Liam's old lens, but, but anyway, if you wanna win a 35 mil, stick around to the end of this video and I will show you how you can enter. Tun, nice to meet you, Nice man. to meet you, Tun. So it's got a wide body kit on it somewhat? Yeah, yeah, so it's got the feed style kit um, with an Ari Mimia style front bar. Oh, far out. This car's not made for people over six foot, eh? Yeah, no. <laughs> here as well today special oh, guest oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right i really wanted to take advantage of all these leaves here um because it's it's really nice to be able to shoot through something and because there's just a tiny bit of sunlight actually we've pretty much fucking lost it uh but, but it's still enough to sort of give this a sort of nice glow here even though in the edit later i might darken all of that to put a more central focus on the car what i really love about this lens is that you think it's going to be too wide for what you're shooting but it's somehow just looks so much better on this lens. I don't know what it is about it. And it has like this very creamy look to it. So obviously I'm expecting old 35 mil creaminess and sharpness, but since this is a newer lens, I'm gonna be guessing there's newer glass in it and also newer autofocus features as well. Making this lens just an absolute beast. has decided to rock up. White Evo 5 would love to be able to shoot these cars together because they sort of are like, they're not complete, they're not rivals at all, but they're both like 90s Japanese cars. So they still fit in some sort of category. So I feel like this location, I might still be able to work around the other two, the other two white cars over there and somehow be able to shoot the yellow RX-7 and the white Evo together. I literally went over to his house, held his wheels and like, right and then ordered them. <laughs> I was like, I just got the wheels. Do you want to come around? I was like, yeah, yeah, sweet. Comes over, opens the box, <laughs> picks it up like halfway out the box, puts it back down. Is like, I'm going to go home and order them. Yeah. All right, the first shot, I'm going to try and get a shot of just Tun's car at the moment. I'm going to set my camera up on a tripod and this will be sort of like a higher aperture shot that we're going to get. All right. Hey, that looks fucking sick. It actually works really well. Can I have a look? Oh, that does look sick. Yeah, I rate that. Oh, oh fucking hell. Sheesh. It'll look good. I'll just... <laughs> oh, <it's> nuts. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> you guys to watch TikTok. Um, Anything you say or do will be used against you in a court of law. All right, well, how about G-E-T-F-U-C-K-E-D, mate? I actually never passed year four, so I don't know what that means. 
Oh, it means um, you're a really lovely person and uh, I like what you've done with your hair. Oh, thanks. All right, that's the end of the video. Okay, two cars behind me. Uh, once you throw another car into the frame, it's like throwing a big spanner, like I'm working here, right? I'm working and then there's a, a spanner. Someone throws a big spanner and in my works. And now there's a spanner in my <laughs> works. <laughs> Mint joke. <laughs> I thought it was pretty Dude, you just love throwing spanners, don't you? You should have brought the push by. <laughs> <laughs> fucking big so, spanner. Okay, no, it's a good looking spanner. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I good. appreciate that. No, no, it. Just don't look at it closely at all. Wait, how, how much did your spanner cost you, bro? Oh, too much. <laughs> you have to be aware of your surroundings and if that, if two cars are going to work in that space together. I think both the cars work really well. It has yellow lines and white background. Um, and the blue is pretty contrasty with the yellow. So the whole location actually works pretty well. It's nice and industrial. Wow, that would be so much nicer if it wasn't that shit. <laughs> So for rolling shots, I generally try and, um, especially at night time, open up my aperture as much as possible and my shutter speed is going to try and match the car's speed. This term works better for miles instead of kilometres. So if we're going like 60 miles an hour, which is 100 k's an hour, my shutter speed is going to be about uh, 60th of a second. So because we're not going to be going that fast, we're going to be going about 60 k's an hour, which is about 35 miles. I'm gonna have a one over 30th second shutter speed. And also rolling shots can be hard to keep still, especially even if you're taking photos. So sometimes I like to lock the camera just in the corner right there of the window, just something like that. So just balancing it on basically the frame of the door and also gently pushing the lens against like the window frame. And back shot nailed first time. Yeah. Let's go! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> That's sick. That one's sick. That's a money oh, shot. There's heaps, bro. Yeah, man, well done. Oh, Thanks no, thank out. you. No, yeah. no. Much appreciated. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. And now it is time to get a bubble tea. <laughs> mm. That shoot went pretty smooth. Although I do wish I rocked up to the first location a bit sooner because the sun was pretty much setting and there was a bit of clouds and stuff covering all the light and I wish the car was just a bit more lit up. But that's my own fault for not rocking up sooner. Usually most of my photo shoots, we encounter some kind of security or heavy traffic or just one random junkie that just gets in the way or I don't know. But this photo shoot turned out great and this is actually one of my favorite photos from the night. And funny enough, at this location, just after we took this shot, because I think this was the last shot at the location before we left, we were taking up half the car park to take this photo and there was actually a game on that night, a rugby match or something. And people started rocking up in the car park while we were taking photos or whatever. And I'm like, nah, we're done. Like someone's just gonna come and park right there and get into my shot, which is totally fair enough because it's a car park and I'm not really allowed to be taking photos there. But surprisingly, even though cars were rocking up, everyone was really kind and didn't park anywhere near our photo shoot. Everyone just sort of started filling up the other like left-hand side of where we were taking this photo until we were getting ready to leave and then like five more cars rocked up. So that was lucky because that could have happened at the start of the photo shoot and the place would have been fucked. And then we went out to go take rolling shots and we managed to get um, clear traffic both ways over the bridge, which is something that just never happens, especially because it was like 8 p.m. on a Friday night or something. And there was just... I don't know, for the, for the runs that we had, there was a lot of traffic, but there just wasn't traffic on the runs over the bridge when we, we were taking the photos. So yeah, really lucky photo shoot. Everything went really smoothly and I got heaps of great photos. So thanks to Tun for coming out. And then on the shoot, obviously Tun's mate Callum rocked up in his white Evo 5 and that just worked out for an even better shot. But anyway, you don't give a fuck about that, do you? All you wanna know is how you can win the 35 mil. Well, 
I click beta gear. There is no 35 to win. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> to enter, it's really simple. All you need to do is comment down below on this video your camera mount and your dream car. And you also need to be following Sigma Photo Australia on Instagram. Oh yeah, I just remembered as well, a very important part, because I forgot to say this once, and it was a nightmare to try and find the person who won. Please leave your email or Instagram or some way of contacting you in your comment. That is also a step, some way of contacting you. If you've done those two things, you are in the running. And then at next week, at some point, I will make a video. I'll put all the comments into a random comment generator, whatever, and one lucky person will win. And also this is a worldwide competition. So anyone around the world can win this. All you need to do is follow those steps. And last but not least, I've got to do a cheeky plug to support the channel. All these photos that you see above are edited with my Lightroom presets. I mainly used Cars Night from my V2 pack. So if you want to get those, they're linked in my description. And you know what, fuck it. I'll also, um, I'll put a discount code up as well. Uh, type in, I don't know, it's me being really creative here. Type in RX7 for 25% off if you're planning on getting my presets and you'll get 25% off. <laughs> that is the end. Thank you for watching. I hope I taught you something new today. If I did, maybe leave a like down below or help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one and I'll see you in the next one. What car you got? A matchbox. Yeah. Oh, a matchbox car. Nice. Oh, this one's all right, mate. It's a matchbox. Yeah, yeah, you won't lose this in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I've, tried well, I've tried to fit it in my pocket before. Have you? No. Oh, no, we've really got to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, man. See you, bro.